Hello. My name is Len Savage, and I'm from San Diego, California, and I would like to share with you my very personal story of how I arrived here at the fourth Saturday in July of 2010. I was married for 38 years to the most loving, bouncing, caring, friendly, outgoing person, uh, Cynthia. She was my best friend and soulmate. And about four years ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and that was tough. After a very lengthy battle, um, emotional, financial burden, it was just, it was just gut wrenching. But she finally gave up that battle last year in the hospital, and on that final trip to the hospital, on that last day, um, I was holding her when her heart stopped for the last time, and we looked into each other's eyes, and I gave her a final kiss, and she gave me the greatest gift that I've ever received, and that was she gave me her last smile. And I've hung on to that smile, and... I use that smile every chance I get, and I like sharing it with people because it was hers and she wanted to pass it on. So I didn't know if I would survive that, but I did. And then not long thereafter, I was let go from my career of 22 years. And not long after that, my father-in-law passed away. And not long after that, my old dog died in my arms on the week of my birthday. And all of these things added together have been really rough. And, you know, I thought that I was a husband, a caregiver, a provider, a corporate guy. And I find out now that I'm none of those. That maybe I never really was any of those. Maybe who I really am is defined more by how I do things instead of what I do. So, I, you know, I could take on the title of uh, wifeless, jobless, working on not becoming homeless, but I don't need labels. I, you know, I, I have always maintained the attitude that the most amazing, the most exciting, most incredible things to happen in my life are still in my future. They're yet to happen. And every day I wake up is kind of like a, a clean slate, and it's an opportunity to start my life all over again. And I am not a quitter. Um, I am happy with who I am. I'm happy with the direction I'm headed. Um, I got a foreclosure notice from my mortgage company, but I'm staying here. This is the, this is our home. This is the home we bought together, and I'm going to work through this. And 2011 is going to be my year. And if I'm strong enough, and if I'm lucky, then when my heart stops beating for the last time, I'll be able to pass this smile on one more time to one more person who needs it. And that's if I'm lucky. Thank you.